In this short video tutorial, I want to show you a very simple tool, kind of an interesting little tool. And to be honest, I don't know exactly how I would use this as a teacher or a student, but I know that there must be ways. If you come up with good ideas, please put them in the comments below this video. But basically, this is a drawing tool that Google has created. It's supposed to be like the next evolution of Microsoft Paint, but it was made by Google. And as it says here, it's an AI experiment. And it's called Auto Draw, and what it is, is it's fast drawing for everyone. So I'll click Start Drawing, and you'll see what it means by that. What Auto Draw does is it helps people like me that are drawing challenged to maybe draw a little better. So for example, I would like to draw a moon, like a crescent moon. Okay, so I draw the moon there, and notice up at the top, I get some suggestions. Look at the first three or four suggestions that Auto Draw suggests for me. They all are, I think, the moon. So this one is pretty good. I'm going to click on that and look, it takes my crude drawing and smooths it out and makes it look really nice and professional. Okay, down here, I would like to draw maybe waves of the ocean or of the sea. And let's see how that turns out. Okay, up here at the top, the suggestions changed and two out of the first three suggestions are really great. I'm going to go with this one here. Now I wish it were a little bit longer on the screen, a little bit wider, but I like what it's done. So next I would like to add a boat. Now I can't promise that this will work. My uh, art skills are not great, especially on a computer. So I don't know if it's going to really recognize this as a boat. It looks like it doesn't. Although here we have a boat and there's another boat. Okay, so it did work. It just wasn't one of the first few suggestions. But I'm going to go with that one there. That looks pretty good. So you can see with very little art skill, I'm putting together what looks like a pretty good scene on the ocean or on a lake at night. So kind of fun. It really is a pretty enjoyable tool to use. And uh, I think students would really appreciate it and enjoy it. Okay, so now that we've got some elements in this scene here, I want to show you some of the other tools. In addition to Auto Draw, there's Regular Draw that you can use to add some more details. And these drawings are not going to generate suggestions. These are just pen strokes that you want to add to your drawing. You can also click on the T to add text. Okay, so there's my title, Boat at Night. I can use this tool here to select and move things. Okay, so I can arrange things better the way I want them to be. Now, you'll notice what happened with this one. My added drawings aren't connected to the cloud. If I hold shift, I can click and drag around those elements and it will combine them. You can see I accidentally got the title as well. But still, that's a pretty nice option to have that you can hold shift, click and drag, and whatever you capture in that will be connected and will move as one. We also have some fill options. So I can fill the moon in blue just by clicking on it. And you can see the different color options are here at the left. I could have changed this at any time. Everything's in blue right now. But I could have changed some of these colors and given a different look to it. That's fine to do, of course. Okay, I can make it dark being in the night. We also have shapes that we can add. And again, I can change the colors. The shapes appear here at the top. So I can put in triangles, I can put in circles. Not a whole lot of shapes to choose from, but uh, a few. We also have the ability to zoom. Okay, you can zoom in on the project if you would like. And I'm just clicking and dragging on the image. Or you can go up here to the top and just select the size that you want to zoom to. And then finally, in the lower left corner, we have the undo button that you can undo elements that you don't really want. There's also a delete button, but to use that, you would need to use select. You'd have to click on an option, and now it's deletable. Okay, so really a fun online paint tool that I think students would really enjoy being creative with. When you're done, or when the students are done, they can click here in the upper left, and there's an option to start over, or to download, or share. If you click download, it just downloads a PNG of your image. There it is, looking beautiful. You can also share by clicking share, and it compiles all the elements of your drawing together and gives you four ways to share. Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or just copy the link to your particular drawing. Then you can send that link to anyone, and when they go to that link, this is what they'll see. So that's really all you need to know about AutoDraw. If you want to learn more in that same options panel here at the left, there are some shortcuts, and these would be pretty helpful for people that really are serious about using AutoDraw. There's some good options for duplicate, for creating triangles, and things like that. 
just by using these keyboard shortcuts. So I hope that you enjoy using AutoDraw and that you'll find ways to use it in the classroom. Again, if you come up with some great ways to use this in the classroom, please make a comment and post it below the video so that we can learn from each other. And please consider connecting with me on some of my social media platforms like Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook. And I hope that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And watch for a new video from me at least every Monday.